So for some reason my microphone didn't work, so this video is going to have some narration. So I didn't want to throw away this footage um, because there were too many things that were good or bad really um, that I wanted to share. So just a quick highlight of this drive. So right here, the car actually pulls over to the right to let this car pass, even though there's plenty of room. So I hit the accelerator to get it moving. There was no reason it should have stopped there. Right here, it does a really good job. It pulls to the left a little uh, to swing out and make this turn uh, to avoid that wall, which is really good. I would do that as well if I have room. Now right here, the car starts creeping forward and in that creeping, it just disengages for no reason. So it just disengaged. And so I recorded a message uh, to send to the team. Now once I engaged, it creeped forward like it should and did a good job with the turn. Now here's an example of really poor planning. As you can see, as I come down this curve, there is no traffic beside me or really in, in front of me except for that Model Y way up there. Um, so I have plenty of room, I could get over. I accelerated because the car was not speeding up at all. And then it wouldn't um, get over when I put on the turn signal. It didn't try on its own. And then when I put on the turn signal, it just didn't merge. So I took over, disengaged, and merged into the lane. Now once again, another example of really poor planning. I need to be in the far right lane here, and um, the car is in the third lane over. So right here, the car does get over into the right lane. Um, this would be fine in this instance because there's not a lot of traffic, but normally that lane backs up, so you need to plan way ahead and be in the right lane. Um, so the car in front of me also did poor planning, waited till the last second and got over. But it thinks there are two exit lanes. And as you can see, I let it go. I let it do its own thing. And it missed the exit because only one of those lanes is an exit lane. Bad map data. Now I went up to the next exit. Um, the car rerouted me here to take me back. Um, so in this left turn, you'll see that the car tries to get in the wrong lane. It tries to get in their lane. Um, pretty sure they were not happy with me at that point. Um, but yeah, it just did a bad job of planning. It did not go into the correct lane. Here, once again, it gets in the wrong lane. It should stay in this lane, but instead it gets in this U-turn lane. Um, I don't know why, and it would not get back over, so I disengaged and got over. It wasn't even slowing down either. It's as if it thought it was a straight lane. So then here, I do need to be in the far left lane. I'm making a left turn, and I need to make another left turn after I turn. So I'm in the correct lane here. But watch as it goes through the intersection. When the light turns green, this truck beside me is also making a left turn. So I should stay in the far left while that truck st 
would stay in his lane, but instead my car tried to get over in front of him. Um, so yeah, it, it did a really poor job of planning that turn. It should have stayed right where it was in the left most lane and, um, just made that turn. I don't know why it changed, uh, or kind of swerved over into the right. Um, but yeah, that it just does a lot of things like that all the time. So overall, um, this drive is a good example of really, really poor planning. The driving itself was fine, but the planning was just awful in a lot of spots. A lot of disengagements, uh, all due to planning, and then um, the bad map data where it missed the exit because it thinks two lanes are um, exit lanes. But anyway, thanks a lot for watching this one, and see you on the next one.